mill that you have to go through on these occasions. <laughs> Do you actually enjoy doing this? It's all part of the job, just like your job. <laughs> yeah, it's a mix. Everyone thinks it's really cool to be able to come interview you. Know, and sometimes it's, it can be rewarding, and sometimes it really does feel very strange. Mm. Um, this is the umpteenth time you've been to Venice. How important is Venice to you as a festival to present a film like passion? Well, it's a great audience. I mean, I'd love to, s I mean, it's going to be very exciting tonight to see it on the big screen. I've never seen it with an audience before. Uh, it's the first time it's been shown in front of a large audience. So I'm very excited to see the reactions. There are going to be boos, there are going to be silences, and there are going to be laughs. Uh, you would get that at any festival. Is there anything about Venice in particular that... Well, I mean, the reception I got for redacted here was overwhelming. I mean, they they just applauded and applauded. Uh, it was just amazing. Were you disappointed with the subsequent sort of lack of box office fire that redacted? It no, it didn't surprise me. It was a very uh, controversial film, uh, not the way American wants to see itself represented. Uh, you can't say anything bad about the American troops. And uh, I just told the story that, as I saw it, and uh, not many people were happy about it. Um, people are always surprised that a director of your stature um, would have a problem getting a film put together. It has been a few years. To, I mean, that was 2007, Black Dahlia was 2006, so in fact there you were quite fast. Why is it so hard? Why, why haven't you? It's, it can't be for the lack of finding the right script, or simply. Well, I, I mean, I wrote a couple of scripts in the sort of style of redacted. I think I wrote two, as a matter of fact, and I uh, couldn't get them financed. I mean, they were very controversial, and because of the lack of uh, box office for redacted, it was impossible to get them financed. Didn't stop me from spending two, two or three years writing them, uh, and then I got involved with a. Uh, project uh, based on an old John Farrow picture uh, that was owned by RKO and I couldn't get them to ultimately make a deal for the rights of it. So that kind of took up most of the time and then this came along. At the press conference earlier there was a question about Hitchcock which you kind of why is Hitch, his, is he an influence on you? He is. You can't yeah, say Yeah, but it's a tired question. I've been, it's a tired question. It's a tired question that's been asked of me for, what, 40 years now? Obviously, I learned a lot from Hitchcock. I use a lot of his grammar. There's nothing new to say about it, basically. And for somebody to say, oh, have you been influenced by Hitchcock? It's like, duh. <laughs> OK. So what do you say to people who are influenced by Brian De Palma? I, uh, you, I least. would not. I, I would. Uh, what do you? Uh, it's. I don't think there are many people that are influenced by Brian De Palma. Uh, but it's 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 it seems to me it's a cliche and it's repeated over and over again. Now, I think you'd be surprised how many people have been influenced by you. I think you are going to, when the book is written on 20th and 21st century cinema, you're going to be in there. There's no doubt about it. With, with hindsight, people see what was done, which brings me to passion actually because. Um, there was actually very little, you didn't, there was no three and a half, four minute uh, steady cam shots, the, the split screen ballet sequence was really the only identical, last. ah, there we go. Were you holding yourself back or have you been tired of it? No, no it's a question, are you tired of it? You've been there and done it. No, I, 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 these, these questions sort of bewilder me because I always try to find what I think is the correct <clears throat> use of the particular uh, filmic uh, 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 shot for the scene, you know, and if, uh, if it's Nomi breaking down, uh, uh, dropping her purse and going to the elevator, it's a steady cam shot. It doesn't have to be a four minute steady cam shot, but it's a steady cam shot to take her so she can play the emotion through. So we don't have to stop and start, stop and start, which is very bad for an actress trying to play an emotion. So. That's what I use in that instance. In the fact, the split screen, I'm juxtaposing two realities against each other, and I want the audience to feel very much that they're at the ballet with Nomi so they don't suspect her. Can having a iconic, excuse me the word, back catalogue be a handicap? 
when moving forward, trying to do work, and you get these questions, which are Hitchcock, yeah, the steady cam shots. I mean, is it baggage you'd rather not have to deal with? You just want to focus on what you're doing. Now? Well, it just seems to be a kind of a trite insight. I mean, I don't get these questions when I'm making Scarface. I don't look for the Hitchcockian influences. <laughs> In or, case, no. or or in uh, 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 Carlito's way. I mean, I, when I do a certain genre, I try to keep uh, within the conventions of the genre. And I'm m very much a student of cinema. I, I've seen what's come before. And I use what I think is effective. My time is virtually up. Now, I'd have to say that I'm always asked to ask for a studio, a channel ID, which you may not want to do. All I can say is that we are constantly, constantly showing your films. They are, I mean, they're the part of our, the backbone of, I mean, seriously, I'm constantly, I was doing, uh, I forget what it was now, it was uh, Mission to Mars again the other day, which is uh, so underrated. Thank but you. When you go back and you see, see, review these films, you go, okay, the box office does not respect the beauty of the craftsmanship. Would you give us the channel ID? Which would what be is the channel ID? Chow Studio Universal. Chow Studio Universal. Say that again. Chow. Studio Universal. Chow Studio Universal? That's what I have to say? Yep. Chow Studio Universal. Brian's Maestro. Thank you.